You say, right, take that steel ball and place it right there and watch what happens. Sure. Um, is that sort of a chain reaction? Well, that's sort of a good guess because uh, that's the sort of thing that happens in a chain reaction. But this is a model of electricity. Now, do you know what electricity is? Yeah. What? Well, it's sort of a charged power. Charged power? Well, like, like charged energy. Okay. It's energy. That's certainly it's a form of energy. And it, it, the, when you say charged, I assume you mean that it has electrons and that sort of thing in it. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's, well, that's what these balls are. They're electrons. Now, think of it this way, that this uh, incline represents a wire. Okay. And, and it's made of a material that will conduct electricity because that means that there are electrons that are not held very tightly to the nucleus, so they're free to wander around. They're called free electrons. Then when some energy of some kind is given to an electron to push it into the end of the wire, it runs down here and pushes away that electron because they're all negatively charged and they try to spread out as far as possible. Yeah. And that's why they cascade sort of down here, okay, like this. I see. Okay. Then notice, by the way, that the electron that you get out of the end of the wire is not the same one you put in. That's it's true. It's a different one, okay. Down here, when the electron flows by this part, that represents the energy in the electron that does work. How do we use electrons? Well, in microwaves. Right, microwave. Um, blenders. Right. Anything you plug into the yeah. wall, right. TV, toasters, and all that sort of. Well, that's what this bell represents, okay. So it, there are lots of different ways to give electrons a push to get it started. Do you know what some of the forms of energy are to give electrons a push? Well, a hydro plant. H hydroelectric, in other words, yeah. water, falling water, right. Yeah, and um, static electricity. Well, static electricity, once you rub something, you mean, and it stays put. Yeah. In that case, the electrons don't move because they're usually on a non-conductor, right? And static, yeah. like wool and so forth. So that's not quite the same. Uh, however, they use a heat, right? Yes. They burn coal and then generate the steam to generate the, to make the turbines work. Um, there was nuclear, yeah. chemical reaction. Yeah. Uh, energy from the sun and solar power, sure. right? And in this case, we're using muscular power to give the electrons a push. Have you ever used your muscles to generate electricity? No. Okay, here's your chance. This is a very old device to generate electricity. What you're gonna do is turn this crank. Inside there's a little coil, and these are magnets. As you turn the coil within the magnets, they're gonna push the extra electrons through this, through these connections over here to light the bulb, and then flow back again. So here you are for the first time, generate electricity with muscle power. Go ahead.